This will be a walk around video of our 1972 Bavaria. I'm gonna start out uh, inside the garage just because of the lighting. Uh, there's a lot of things that will be easier to see indoors rather than outdoors. I am gonna do a second part, uh, an outdoor walk around and cold start, uh, but I wanted to present the car in the harshest light possible initially as well. There's uh, a lot of subtleties that will be lost outside sound subtleties like the opening and closing of the doors. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Car is very, very consistent. Uh, you can see it presents very, very well. Uh, pictures, I did the best I could, took them in a couple of different uh, lighting, but uh, the car really just presents very, very well. Uh, a lot of times folks will approach me if I'm getting gas or whatever the case may be outside at a car show and they'll, they'll ask if it was just recently painted, but um, it definitely has not been. So it was actually repainted at some point under previous ownership. Um, not the last owner, not the owner before that. Uh, I've got history on this car uh, as only as far back as uh, 2015 uh, when it was offered for sale previously to uh, the owner I got it from uh, when it was down in Atlanta. Uh, car has been, uh, as far as we can tell, in, a, in southern states uh, until it went out to the west coast to the uh, Washington area before I brought it back here uh, to Chicagoland. So it's extremely dry top and bottom. There are a couple of spots that I will uh, point out that were described in the write-up that I don't feel are terribly uh, accurate, but unfortunately uh, there's only so much you can do with words. So uh, there are some soft dings that are almost impossible to see um, in any kind of light. This is the best light for that, so uh, I'll try to point those out um, because they are so subtle. I sometimes forget where they are. There are, uh, there's one just below the belt line on the uh, passenger front door. You can see if you kind of move around a little bit, you can pick it up. Again, it's it's very hard to tell. I will try to show it again once we move the car outside. Uh, there are a couple above the belt line, just ahead of the passenger front door handle. Uh, I don't wanna make more of these, uh, make more out of these than, than needs to be, but I just wanna make sure everybody knows the car isn't perfect, but it, again, because it's so consistent and it presents so well, uh, this stuff, not only does it not jump out at you, sometimes it's, it's hard to, to get it all. So, in fact, from this angle, you can't really even see the one that's below the belt line. So, um, here is the hood. I'll show it from every angle I can. It's extremely clean. I don't believe there are any dings. Uh, in the hood, uh, this right front fender, I don't believe there's anything here either. Uh, per the write-up, the, the bumpers were polished. Um, there is a tiny little bit of, uh, I'm not sure if hazing is the right term, but um, I, will, I will point that out. It is on the driver's side. But uh, excellent condition, very consistent all the way around. It does have all of its original glass. Uh, as far as I can tell, I, I, I photoed all of the uh, all of the stampings. One of the things that did get was a new windshield front windshield seal uh, when it was at uh, the dealership in Atlanta before it left. And I actually have pictures of the car with the windshield out because I actually was talking to him about it uh, and was going to purchase it back then in 2015-16, but uh, somehow it did not work out. Uh, so moving back here, we're gonna to go to the trunk. You 
and I don't believe there are any dings or indentations in the trunk lid itself. Uh, passenger right rear C pillar is extremely clean. Roof is extremely clean. There is a soft ding that I spotted uh, recently that I actually I didn't even know was there the whole time I've had the car. And it is right there. Again, it's it's really hard to, oh, there, there you go. You can see it, there's one right there, and then this is a touch up. But I think that's it for the roof. Uh, there is a little bit of dirt, uh, is the best way I can describe it, and it is in the right rear quarter. It's also very, very hard to see. Uh, but it is um, right along here, just below um, where the horizontal plane comes down. And it does continue to roughly there. And you can really only see it if you have um, this kind of lighting and you're looking at the just the right angle. So it's very, very light. It hasn't changed in any way since I've owned the car. Um, there is a little bit more up top there, you can see it, but that's really the worst of it there. It's kind of in a horseshoe pattern. But again, you have to be at an angle with harsh lighting, otherwise it pretty much disappears. So, um, the biggest dent or ding or imperfection is this one over here. I'm not sure how long it has been there. It's very small, it's my forefinger, but it was touched up at some point. And this one obviously is, is easier to see. It's probably the easiest one on the whole car to see, um, but that's, that's really the worst of it. So you can see the Aluminum panel, surround panel is extremely clean. Rear bumper is extremely clean. Again, I'm gonna show all of this once we get outside. Um, but I'm gonna open up the, uh, the doors, hood, trunk, while we're in here, again, because it is so quiet. Um, really give, it, give you an idea of how solid everything is on the car. So let's take another look at the trunk back from this direction. one spot but other than that it's everything is, is really really clean rear window is extremely clear um, also original has the original uh, stamping in it which I believe I showed in the pictures uh, this side the C pillar outside has it is hard to tell what this is um, I cannot tell if it's dirt under the paint or if at some point um, there was a crease there, but it looks like it was from the inside pushed out. And you do have to take this at an angle as well to see it. Uh, but other than that, it's really not a whole lot. There are these two tiny little nicks, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, the rear windshield, uh, the rear window seal looks like it is the original. Uh, it's in really, really good condition, but uh, definitely um, you can tell it's a little weathered in, in some places. You can start to see there's some cracking starting, but other than that, uh, again, from two feet away, um, it's, it's excellent. So uh, in the write-up as well, it says that some of the, some of the seals are worn or torn but um, it's really that they've just, you know, they're 50, they're 51 years old. So for the most part, they are in outstanding condition. Um, all of the, almost all the wheel wells, the wheel well jams, um, door jams are just in fantastic condition. 
but you've got uh, essentially some, I don't know if peeling or splitting, but uh, so this is the part that uh, meets the door. And then this is the braided part that is uh, on the interior. So this is really, that's going to be the worst of it. Other than that, everything is, it's, it's really pretty complete. So uh, you'll notice the dome light works uh, with all the doors, something you don't see very often. Um, headliner, since we're back here, is, is really in outstanding condition as far as I can tell. It's the original. Uh, it's not torn anywhere. Some very, very light staining, uh, worst of which is, is back there. Right rear corner, uh, but again, you have to be really on top of it to see it. Other than that, it, it kind of looks like it's it's part of the pattern. So, um, but again, condition very consistent. Um, whole back seat is is in really excellent original condition. Some very very light staining um, back here. It's just some darkening, I'm not sure if it's sun fade, whatever it is, but it's it's otherwise really excellent. It goes, it's consistent all the way across. Um, where the rear headrests were removed, they're plugged. Those do go with the car. Show those as well. But yeah, all, all of the door panels are just in absolutely phenomenal condition. Seats are in excellent condition. Um, one of the things that the the place in Atlanta did was they recovered a small section of, of one of the front seats. I believe there's closing of the door. It's one of the things I wanted to show on the inside where it's nice and quiet. Um, all the fitment is really pretty incredible. I, I don't believe the car has ever been apart um, when they did the the repaint, whenever that was, I, I'm not sure how extensive it was, but it's there's no overspray. Um, the all of the aluminum trim is is really in, in excellent condition. I believe it's all original. None of it looks like it's. I mean, if it did come off the car and went back on, it, they did an amazing, amazing job. So, uh, but everything, everything fits right. So as your driver's interior door jam, I've got the fuse box door open just for when I open the hood. That does hook into place. Um, when I first got the car, it did, there was a decent amount uh, of chips that were kind of along from where the seat belt was just left to hang and not retracted back. So um, that was one of the few areas that we touched up with the Sahara paint. Uh, after we had it mixed, but yeah, so they're the the larger chips we we touched up just because they were nice where they weren't rusting Nothing was coming through. There's there's no through rust anywhere on this on this car But that's that's the extent of it. There is some on the passenger side front door But I've, I've left that alone because again, it's just so benign it's it really speaks to the um, Just the natural aging of the car, the, the honesty of the car. So I did not want to go touching up every inch of the car. Um, did recently have the uh, the original dash uh, refurbished. I will show some pictures of the of it when I got it. It had cracks, uh, pretty deep cracks through. Um, if you look in certain angles, you can see where the repairs were. The company I've been using for years, they're, they're fantastic. There are a couple remaining that are deeper in. Again, I, I did not want to pull the dash out. It is so quiet. There are no rattles, no squeaks, and I just wanted to kind of keep that. So the last two are these guys back here. There's that there, and then over there, um, and all the rest have, have been filled and dyed, and uh, it really came out very, very nicely. Everything else is in really good condition. Um, 
there was some pretty decent staining on the inside of the uh, um, passenger headrest that we uh, dyed to match. I believe there was a little bit on, on this one as well. Uh, I have pictures to show it before. But other than that, it's, um, it, it's all original color, all original material, I believe. Again, it's, it's hard to tell because they did such a good job if it was uh, the driver's, driver's bottom or the passenger's bottom. One of them uh, got replaced. Um, and obviously to an excellent, excellent uh, level. So um, here is, let me show you just how smoothly everything works. I'm gonna roll the window down and it's just smooth as silk, very quiet, no rattles, down, up, everything is really all the way up. Same. Sorry if the video's on the long side, but I just wanted to go through as much of this stuff as I could um, just to show folks how really sorted the car is. Smooth, all the way down, all the way up. Here's the dash from this angle. And here's one of the beautiful things about being inside is you can hear the clock ticking away and it really keeps excellent time. If maybe you don't drive the car for two or three weeks, it needs to be reset. But other than that, if you're driving the car with any kind of consistency, it keeps fantastic time. A lot of the original markings are there, the shift pattern on the dash, um, the original safety belt. Um, Go ahead and open the trunk. It's a one hand operation. Obviously I'm holding the phone with the other hand. So open it up, pops right up, stays open on its own. And this panel is the only panel that was not reinstalled. I've shown that in pictures. You can see how clean the trunk is. Uh, the, the spots of rust that were described in the write up Again, I, it's hard to describe them, but it's, and I don't know that this would really show up outside, but it, it was rust at one point. It was cleaned up. This is just discoloration, um, but it isn't rust. Everything is extremely solid. So here is where the rust was. And some, at some point, a previous owner cut it out, had it removed, but Everything is solid here. Nothing's crumbly, nothing is um, coming down. Again, I, th I thought the light would be better here, but it, it's not great with the overhead light above. So this looks a lot worse than it is. It's, it's a very, very small area. Again, this is discoloration. This is maybe like two inches. There's the stopper. Um, and then these holes are just the size of a fingernail. And this portion here, it's maybe another couple of inches, but Again, I don't know if, if they tried to put metal in there at some point, but again, it's everything is solid. And then you have a tiny, tiny bit over here in this corner. This stuff is all dried glue and it, 
It's what was holding, part of what was holding the panel in, and that goes all the way around. It is not rust. Um, so trunk lid is generally very, very clean. Every, every part of it is solid inside and out. So, and then this portion, again, this is about the size of a fingernail. Same with this one. And as I'm looking at it through the camera, it's, it's much worse on the camera than it is in, in real life, but everything is solid there. So, uh, corners underneath where the trunk fits in, extremely clean in this, I'm not sure to call it a ledge or a, a channel, rain channel. Very, very clean all the way through. Here's the fuel door fill or fuel filler door, rather. Um, there's the original tire pressure sticker. I keep a rag everywhere I go, just in case there's not one when I get to the gas station. I keep a couple of paper towels down there as well. So, um, I believe everything on the interior is completely original. Uh, the only part that was uh, repainted was outside of, of the body panels, but it's all original paint. And the same under the hood. So, and here's one hand trunk close. Just get it, break it off the detent there. And that's it. It's, it's good to go. So I started to point out before I got tangent that there are a couple of dings. There's one on the driver's door. You can see it. It's a ding and it's a touch up as well. It's just above my fingernail there. Um, there's one a little bit further down, maybe two or three inches away from where the door meets the left front fender. That one is extremely soft. A couple of very soft ones right above my fingers there. Hard to pick up. Um, all the bright work handles. I mentioned that little bit of cloudiness. It's over here. It's on the passenger rear door. Uh, small section right here. Little bit right there. Little bit right here. And I guess a little bit at the bottom there, but because of the nature of the aluminum, looks like glare. You can't really tell unless you get right up on top of it. So um, to me, it's part of the charm of the car. If somebody wanted to get some product and work that in, I'm sure that stuff could be made to go away. Uh, but I was mostly concerned with getting the car all squared away mechanically um, rather than cosmetically, although cosmetically it is, it is excellent. The wipers, the trim around the windshield, everything is in really great shape. See, we're running over 20 minutes here, so let me get around, open the hood. This turns into a documentary. There's the hood release. <coughs> and I have pictures of the tire fuse box here. It is absolutely immaculate in there. Um, no hint of, of rust anywhere. It's, it's, it's bizarre. It's very, very clean. So. And again, just one hand opening the hood. And she holds up. So, very, very nice original condition. Again, you can see that it's, it's a little bit lighter uh, outside of where the fenders uh, bolt in and everything inside is extremely original, original paint, every last sticker. It's one of the beauties of the car. Every last original sticker is here. Um, this area underneath uh, the windshield, I'm not sure if you call it the cowl, but it's, it's just fantastic. So 
A lot of the uh, original insulation is still in there. Uh, much bigger piece on the other side, but it's everything's in is in fantastic shape. So um, only items under here uh, in the hood. You can just kind of tell from this distance. You have to really get on top of it. And again, it's it's similar to what uh, is in the trunk. And I was gonna touch it up, but then I just thought, you know, it's um, 